So today we're going to talk about downloading software, where to find pages for downloading software, and a little bit on how to choose software and look for software. So first we'll go to Google and type downloading software. So as you can see, the first page uh, here is uh, download.com, so that's a very popular site to download uh, software, and it also has uh, software reviews by people, and there's a few other websites here too. If you want to only download free software, we can try uh, typing download free software. Uh, so Tuke has another major website too. Um, or we can type uh, uh, just software. Um, yeah, so download.com is here. Uh, some uh, other websites such as uh, software.com. And there's a lot of different uh, websites you can try too. So why don't we first go to download.com. It, it has a lot of uh, good features, and also a lot of uh, uh, interesting software that you can... So on the left here is category of software, and tech software, mobile software, and webware. Websites, so they're late all the time, but in general, you know, would be quite useful for people. Uh, criteria such as new reliever, top rated, user favorite music. I really like the uh, top rated. I always like to uh, choose, uh, find software where, where it has a very high rating. So one way of doing that is by browsing the top rated category. So right now, um, they've ranked it in uh, order according to the CNET editor rating. The CNET is the uh, site, is the, uh, is this uh, download.com site, people. And then I prefer to rank it by users, actually. So you just click on this user button and write software from the highest ranked to uh, the lowest ranked. And they have 728 software pieces of software on this list. Uh, of course, there's more software than just 728, but there, these are just the top ranked ones. We can, for example, click on the link, and to download, you click the Download Now key. Take a look at the user reviews you can hear, view, pros and cons, some of the other and RELF, even, it says tested spyware free, and here's the uh, requirements here, it works just as well as the others that want 19 to $29 and space in your toolbar. Date, if they're well spaced out, it probably means it's not the same person. If it's like 10 people on the same day rating it, you have to probably be careful and wonder if it's the same person reviewing it. You can also say whether this review is helpful or not. So, yeah, it's really good. So, generally, uh, if the user rating is 4.5, uh, 4, 4.5, 5, that probably means it's a very good piece of software. And if it's not rated, sometimes people, not enough people did have. And, of course, even sometimes it has very high good because sometimes uh, it could be the developer who's actually rating it, but. Um, if you try to uh, take a look at uh, all sound reasonable and that they're evenly spaced out in time and that in the number of downloads, reviews are probably valid. Of course, you can al always try it on yourself. You absolutely do not want to um, um, make, um, you absolutely do not want anything bad to happen to it. It might be a good idea to try it on your old computer downloading this piece of software first before you 
uh, to, to make sure everything works before you download it uh, onto your computer. Yeah, uh, so you might want to try it to download it on your old computer first and see if uh, it uh, works to your liking. And if it does, then you might it might uh, then you can try downloading it onto your new computer. Of course, it. Uh, just because it works on your old computer does not necessarily mean that it will work on your new one, but um, it's a risk that you can take if you decide that you feel like you want the piece of software. <laughs> As in everything else in life, there's risks. So we click download now to download our piece of software. So we can save our file. and. Then it's uh, downloaded to our desktop. We can go to our desktop and zip and uh, run the .exe.